Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be sharing the new kits and add-on stamp sets that are releasing at Studio Calico. Today is February 1st, 2022. And there's a lot to share as always. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with the add-on stamp sets first and then I will share the kits with you and I will have a process video for you as well. So the add-on stamp sets, they are beautiful because this first one is all about books and I'm in love. I love the book icons, they're so cute. You have Book Nerd, I'd Rather Be Reading, Bookworm. Love the alphas because you can fill out the spine of the book with the book you read. I can't wait to use this. This is like the perfect size for a traveler's notebook. Really excited for it and I'll definitely be using it in my reading journal as well. This next stamp set is perfect to create your own tabs and use some of these words to add into the tabs. You can even add color and create your own tab here. You have the solid stamp and then you have like dotted, there's lines, it's really pretty. This one's a favorite. I love hand stamps. I don't know what it is. Uh, they are a favorite and I like that there's high five, pinky promise, I always do that with my kids, good vibes, no way. And then the hands, gestures, it's just perfect. And then we have the stamp, which is all about kind of documenting, taking time for yourself kind of thing and what you're loving at the moment, because you can use these words to either represent like loving this, today was, take a breath. So like me time if you wanted to. So you have the little book a coffee cup, little house that you can build. It's all buildable. Love the brick wall. So cute. Uh, I am so excited for the Aquarius horoscope. Uh, if you're not familiar, Studio Calico releases one every month. And this month it's Aquarius and I am Aquarius. And I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to use it to kind of document my birthday photos. It is so adorable. And by the way, I love the words that, that represent Aquarius's because it's so me. There's like creative, uh, emotional, listener, I'm a total listener, intellectual, honest, I am very honest. And it, uh, sometimes it gets me in a lot of trouble, but I love that stamp set and I can't wait to use that. Uh, again, if you're not familiar, Studio Calico uh, does countries as well, country stamps, and this was Canada. I believe it's Canada, if I'm not mistaken. And this beautiful alpha that I'm excited for. Can't wait to use it. It's like handwritten. So that's a lot of fun. And I love the little lines. That's something I use all the time when I'm typing or writing stuff in my daily journal. So those are the add-on stamp sets. And let's get to the kits. Okay, so let's start with the subscription stamp kit. So you have the alphas and then you have these cool boxes that you can fill out either with the words or the alphas. So it's all buildable. Really love the stars. That is so pretty. I really like things like that where I can add in a corner of a spread or kind of add it as layering. So much fun. Excited for that. We also have the color theory kit which is labels and I'm just going to pull these out so I can share with you the colors here. So you got the pinks. Ooh, that's bold. That's pretty. Some oranges. These are bold, bold colors. I like that. Some green, blue, different shades of blue always. They're very neon. That's pretty neat. Purple. Love that almond. So you got a lot of colors here to choose from or you get a lot of colors in your kit. I am a big fan of the color theory kit just because they are basics and you'll use them all the time. I love my labels. I have loads of labels and I'm hoping to start working on using a lot of those labels. But anyways, let's check out our traveler's notebook kit. So the traveler's notebook kit, I can't even tell you how much I like the cover of this traveler's notebook. It is gorgeous, so bright, so beautiful and the washi tape. Okay, so before I get into the Traveler's Notebook, I'm gonna share with you the embellishments, but look how pretty 
look, look, it's so cute. Anyways, uh, let's check out the add-ons, right? Like the little embellishments that you get with your kit. I'm going to open this washi tape up real quick. The washi tape is so pretty and it's so floral and it's so my style. Look at that. I love it. And it's like in this kind of creamy color, so it's not white. Oh, uh, so, so excited for that. It is so pretty. So that's the washi. Let's take a look at the puffy stickers. So the puffy stickers are as adorable, basically your cover in puffies. <laughs> and I love that. I love the sunglasses. I love the guitar. My daughter plays the guitar. So that's going to work out perfectly. The tigers, adorable. Excited about that. You also get some alphas in pink. I've shared with you before, if the alphas don't fit your color theme or your spread, you can always color them in. I do it all the time and you get a lot of them. I think you get four sheets here. And these beautiful, beautiful labels that match the cover so perfectly. I'm sure it's gonna match everything inside the Traveler's Notebook, but basically you get these rainbow colors. And they're so fun. And I think you get two sheets. Yeah, you totally get two sheets. You also get the three by four stamp set. So it has no thank you, yes please, and a bunch of little words here that you can fill out the lines. Love that. I love buildable stamps. Anyway, so those are the embellishments that come with the Traveler's Notebook kit. Let's check out the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of pink. Like I don't use pink on everything. Uh, it's always subtle for me, like I always have it in the background or something. But this, this is just way too cute. I love this cover so, so much. Let's take a quick, quick look at the inside. Really love that. That is adorable. I love this. This is cute. <laughs> I'm really digging the tiger. I don't like, you know, panther print and tiger print and all that stuff, but I'm really digging this tiger. This is gonna be perfect to document my daughter. As you guys know, my daughter uh, is really into space, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I really like that, and it has the all my favorites, an honorable mention. So good, I like that. Oh, and you get that same pattern from the washi tape. Stars, love list, really cute. Excited for the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so that's the Traveler's Notebook. I might be using my Traveler's Notebook for my process video today, so just keep watching. Let's get to the documenter kit. Okay, so the documenter kit, as always, you get the cards and the embellishments. Let's check out the embellishments. You get those puffy stickers that I shared with you earlier with the Traveler's Notebook. You also get some acetates. Let's check these out. Oh, they're so pretty. The hearts, I uh, love that. You have that same pattern from the washi. Really pretty, some stripes. Ooh, those look like rocks or concrete. I'm not even sure. So nice, I love this. Oh, look at that one. That's very groovy. Okay, so you get the acetate hearts, which are very, very cute. You get a sheet, I'm thinking. One sheet of the smiley faces, but they're so pretty. I love the colors. Yeah, you get one sheet. And chipboard, which is my favorite about the documenter kit. Like the cards and chipboard are always a favorite for me. I use them a lot. And this one is so pretty. She's like a rainbow. I love that. And then you have the wish, the lion. Oh, so pretty. Really, really cute. Okay. Uh, you get the alpha stickers in yellow. It's like a mustardy yellow, which is beautiful. 
And then we get the stamp set. I get so excited when I get alpha stamps with my documenter kits. <laughs> it's just my favorite, but I'm really excited for that. It's so pretty, such a cute three by four stamp set. Okay, so that is the embellishments. Let's take a look at the cards. Okay, guys, as always, you get loads of cards with your documenter kit. I'm gonna just go through these real quick, but they're all so beautiful and so fun. I love this so much. I can't wait to use that. It's a guitar and I'm totally excited about that one. Okay, so that's the cards that came in the documenter kit. So, so beautiful. I'm so excited about it. I love the guitar card, so cute. And it has that like, I don't know, um 70s feel to it i can't even explain it but i'm a huge fan of studio calico's muted colors and this kit is has the muted colors majorly and i love that so i'm excited about my documenter kit but anyways i think i'm gonna work in my traveler's notebook and share a layout with you so if you want to see my process video just keep watching and um, i want to share with you what I do with my traveler's notebook or I'm not even sure what I'm going to document. But anyways, uh, if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to be working in the new Studio Calico traveler's notebook. I want to document my daughter's love for guitars. So I thought it would be fun to print out this photo in a four, uh, five by seven and trim around the guitars and the stand and also trim out the little ukulele. I just really wanted to have the silhouette and that way I can be creative, probably use stamps or stickers to make everything pop. I love doing this, I do it all the time and I don't mind trimming out my photos, honestly. I have these full photos in my Project Life album. So the Traveler's Notebook is a place for me to be creative and I don't mind trimming out my photos basically. But anyways, I'm gonna move on and look through the Traveler's Notebook to find the right pattern for my photo. I still like that first pattern with the black and white triangles. I feel like it's a great place to be able to add color. So I go with it. I'm going to stick down my guitars here and I'm going to squeeze in the little ukulele. I love that ukulele. My daughter drew on it and it's just so adorable and I really wanted to add it next to the guitars. Once I stick down my guitars, I'm going to grab the stamp set that came in the kit. There was like um, a few words that I could use and one of them was yes please. I wanted to kind of focus on how she is willing to buy a guitar every single month if she could. She like <laughs> saves up all her money and goes and buys a new guitar. And I think she's right now at about five guitars, if I'm not mistaken. So I think the yes, please makes a lot of sense, but it was going to fade into the background. So I decided to stamp it on some white paper. I'm gonna trim it down and add it as a little title for my spread. Also was in love with the guitar puffy sticker. So I knew I was gonna use it. And this is the perfect place to do that. I'm literally gonna grab that guitar puffy sticker and add it right above my title. So the Traveler's Notebook Kit came with these pink alphas. I've done this before and I've shared it before where you can color in the alphas to match your spread. And because pink is not gonna match my spread, so I decided to color them in with black marker. Now, usually I use my Posca pen for this, but I was worried it was gonna stick 
to the background it would be hard for me to remove especially that these alphas are very very thin so i went with a black marker it still worked and i'm gonna just spell out i want more i'm just adding them against my guitars this is why i love silhouettes like this because you can add things around it and it's going to make your photo pop even more I also wanted some space for me to journal. So what I decided to do was use the little labels to add my journaling spot, but the labels were way too small. So I just trimmed off the edge of one of the labels and added them back to back. And that way I have a longer label for me to add my journaling. Even though I don't have a lot of journaling, I'm literally just talking about my daughter's love for guitars, but that's enough space for me. And trimming that label made a lot of sense. I'm also going to be using the puffy stickers from the kit to add some color and uh, depth to my photo. But my favorite thing to do when I trim around my subject is to stamp around it. And the stamp set that came in the kit was perfect for that because there was little words like this happened, favorites, love this. So I'm going to use these stamps to stamp around my guitars and there's going to be some empty spots between my words which is fine by me i can just grab my pen and fill those out and just by stamping around my guitars everything pops everything looks pretty cool it kind of reminds me of my daughter because she's just a cool kind of person I did want to mention something about journaling. I've been told that I do not add enough journaling on my spreads. So here's the situation. I think that to each his own, and if you want to add journaling, go for it. It's your journal. And if I don't want to add it, it's my journal, basically. I think not every photo has a story and you do not need pages on pages of journaling to be a scrapbooker. So you do you, I'll do me, and we'll all be happy. Anyways, let's move on. I felt like that corner was pretty empty and needed a little something. I'm just gonna go ahead, add a label and a sticker there just to fill that out, and then I call my layout done. Don't forget, today is release day at Studio Calico. I'm gonna add all the links down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.